Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Sprites are here at Oxports.com and a welcome to the update for Thursday's card, October 24th, 2024. It is Football Thursday at Docsports.com. Today's the day of the week that we release all of our football plays college and pro for the upcoming weekend. Uh, my plays will be up Thursday afternoon. I've got a seven play card, college and pro football combined. Saturday, seven star play in college. I've got a six star in the NFL. All the plays available in the afternoon. You can see your scroll there. Uh, college football, I'm 73% winners since September 1st. College and pro football going back to the 19th of September, uh, combined to go 24 and 10, 71%. Last week, five and two overall. Uh, and by the way, the top plays in college football now, five, one, and one since September 1st, one last weekend with Kansas over Houston. We'll look to rack it up and cash again. Seven more plays, college and pro football available on my homepage at Doc Sports on Thursday. Also, I've got my first top play in the NBA, a six-star play on Thursday's card. We're up uh, over 11800 bucks on our NBA long-term run. I don't have anything going, or I should say, I don't have anything that I can talk about yet for Wednesday night because both of my plays have yet to go couple of West Coast games starting after 10 p.m. Eastern time. We'll update the record on those after uh, Thursday. You'll be able to hear about it on Thursday night, Friday morning's video. So that's what's going on for me, the six-star in Thursday's NBA, my entire football card, including the seven-star college football and the six-star in the NFL. Let's get to the comp play for Thursday night football. Syracuse and Pitt doing battle right now. Pitt laying six. Uh, listen, as far as this game is concerned, I do my power ratings and I do my lines a week in advance. So for this game, I did it last Wednesday, eight days ago, and I had Pittsburgh just slightly better than Syracuse on a neutral field if it were to be played on a neutral site. And I had Pittsburgh 0.5 points better than the Orange on a neutral site. So the line comes out, a bunch of shops had three and a half. The market weighs in, knocks it all the way up to six. I think the number's too big here, folks. I like the Qs plus the points in this one for the comp play. As far as Syracuse, you know what they're going to do. They're going to throw the football. The Ohio State transfer McCord has been fantastic at Syracuse. They're averaging about 365 passing yards per game. And Pittsburgh's weakness on defense, well, they're 105th against the pass. How about the fact they give up over seven yards per pass attempt and over 11 yards per pass completion? That's the pit defense. Now they're very good against the run, but Syracuse doesn't even try to run half the time. They're not a team that's going to base their offense on the ground game. So I think the number's too high here. Uh, my comp play for Thursday, Syracuse plus the points over Pittsburgh. Again, all my plays on Thursday, including this week's football, available on my homepage at DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, everybody. Let's put them in the wind column. We'll talk to you late Thursday night, early Friday morning with my next report.